Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining us out here in beautiful Ravina. Uh, we're out here with the Department of Environmental Conservation, the Department of Agriculture and Markets, and the Integrated Pest Management Program. And today we're going to talk to you a little bit about spotted lanternfly and some of the issues that it causes and how it spreads and what you can do uh, to reduce that spread and the damage around the state. So that you saw there was an adult spotted lanternfly. Adults and nymphs and even egg masses are really great hitchhikers and can move around the state pretty easily without us knowing. Spotted lanternfly was first found in New York on Staten Island and has since moved northward through the Hudson Valley and out into western New York through Rochester and Buffalo and the Finger Lakes area. And it's done this uh, by hitchhiking on things such as vehicles, trains, anything uh, that they can get onto, you name it, they'll get in and uh, ride around the state. So one thing we want to talk about is as you're out this summer seeing all the beautiful sights around New York, out on vacation, we just want you to stop and take a minute and look at your vehicle to make sure that you're not moving spotted lanternfly. And it's really pretty simple. They're just looking for a place, a nice, warm, protected place to hang out uh, and be protected from predation in the weather and etc. So oftentimes we see them, they'll be along the ground. They can crawl up into your wheels, up onto your tires, into your wheel wells here and hang out up in here quite a bit. Uh, and they'll even be around the front of your vehicle. They can hop up in your grill. This is a great spot, offers a lot of protection from the wind while you're driving. They can just hang out in there uh, and then get off at the next place that you stop. Uh, inadvertently, you've transported them to another location. Uh, they hang out here by the windshield wipers quite a bit. Really, you know, as you notice, anywhere protected, any of the lines along your vehicle, uh, the hatch, the back hatch where your um, trunk is, in your gas cap, really anywhere they can hang out um, and, and get from place to place. And later in the season, they can even be laying egg masses uh, on your car. And we'll get into that a little bit more later. Uh, but if you were to look down and find an egg mass later this fall inside your wheel well, you would take something simple like a credit card and just scrape it off uh, like this. Uh, into some hot soapy water is preferable so that we know that the egg masses die. Uh, so again, that's how you can keep track of the outside of your vehicle. And one thing that we also see is if you park in an area with a lot of spotted lanternfly, they will actually end up inside your vehicle. So if you leave the window down, you have the door open for a long period of time, maybe while you're loading stuff in and out, you should also be careful and check the interior uh, because spotted lanternfly have been known to move on the interior of vehicles as well. All of this information would apply to any other recreational vehicles that you have outside, uh, your RV, boat, boat trailer, things of that nature that you're moving from you know, your home to your camp or out to the lake or whatever, uh, all great items to hitchhike on. So now we're going to move over to Brian and discuss what you can do uh, in your yard and around your home uh, to deal with spotted lanternfly. 